you've often heard elderly people refuse sweets when you offer them they say that they are suffering from diabetes and they cannot have sweets so what is diabetes well diabetes is the condition when the level of glucose in the blood gets high well in a normal condition what happens after taking the meal the glucose present in the food gets absorbed in the blood vessels of the villi of the small intestine see it gets absorbed in these blood vessels in the small intestine so now the glucose molecules they come in the blood stream now what happens after that well in these diabetic people glucose comes in the blood stream and then it tries entering the cells but it cannot be taken up by the cells so cells cannot take up glucose and cannot utilize this glucose to convert it to energy see once again it cannot be taken up by the cells and they are again given back to the blood stream so since the glucose becomes higher in the blood stream we call this condition diabetes now people who suffer from diabetes are often told by doctors to take insulin regularly what is insulin well insulin is a hormone which reduces the blood glucose level how does it do that well insulin molecules first come and binds with the cells now after a meal when glucose has been absorbed the insulin molecules helps in the uptake of glucose and the glucose is utilized by the cells so the level of blood glucose decreases so in a normal healthy man after a meal the blood glucose in the body increases but after uh, some hours the blood glucose becomes normal and this is facilitated by the secretion of the hormone known as insulin now who secretes this insulin well there is an organ below and behind the stomach which is known as the pancreas the pancreas is a j-shaped organ and its main function is to secrete a hormone known as insulin now hyposecretion of insulin from the pancreas by hyposecretion i mean less secretion because hypo means less the blood glucose level will become high and this condition is known as hyperglycemia hyper means high and glycemia means the glucose level so let me explain this to you once again if there is less secretion of insulin then glucose won't be taken up by the cells so the cells will not be able to use the glucose and the glucose is again given back to the blood stream so the blood glucose increases and the condition is known as hyperglycemia now since the cells are not being able to utilize the glucose a person's body becomes very weak so this is associated with weakness now what happens when there is hyper secretion or greater secretion of insulin from the pancreas well we know that insulin increases the cellular level of glucose 
because it helps in glucose uptake of cells. Increase in the glucose levels in the cells would mean less amount of glucose in the blood. Now, this decrease of blood glucose caused by the hypersecretion of insulin from the pancreas also causes dizziness and a spinning of head. So, insulin decreases the blood glucose level. Now, can it decrease it to zero? Well, no, it cannot. This is because blood sugar is maintained at a particular range always. So there must be something that opposes the function of insulin and maintains the blood glucose level. What is it? The pancreas secretes a second hormone which is known as the glucagon. And the function of the glucagon is to increase the blood sugar level. So, insulin and glucagon works opposite or opposes the functions of each other. So, what does glucagon do? Let us see. The glucagon binds to the cell membranes and causes the conversion of glycogen into glucose. So, the number of glucose molecules in the cells becomes greater and because of this high concentration glucose comes out into the bloodstream. Let us see again. See the glucose comes out into the bloodstream because of the high concentration of it into the cells. The main function of glucagon is to convert glycogen into glucose. So the pancreas secretes both insulin and glucagon that has opposite functions. Now how is that possible? Well, just like islands, there are many island-like structures in the pancreas. And these islands are known as the islets of Langerhans after the scientist Langerhans who first discovered these structures. Islets means islands. Now these islets of Langerhans contain different kinds of cells. One such cell is known as alpha cell and alpha cells secrete glucagon. And we know glucagon increases the blood glucose level as opposed to insulin which is secreted by another cell known as the beta cells that reduces the blood glucose level. So the pancreas secretes insulin. And the insulin causes the conversion of glucose to glycogen in the liver. Now because of this conversion the blood glucose level decreases. So the blood glucose level decreases and hence there is an imbalance in the body. Now to balance this imbalance, the pancreas secretes the second hormone which is known as the glucagon. And what does the glucagon do? The glucagon causes the formation of glucose back from the glycogen. So this does not happen anymore. Glycogen gets converted 
back to glucose so the blood glucose level becomes now balanced so the imbalance caused by insulin is balanced by glucagon that is how the two hormones in the pancreas works now is pancreas an endocrine gland yes it does secrete insulin and glucagon directly into the blood stream so that is an endocrine property of the pancreas but the pancreas also secretes digestive enzymes via these ducts so since it secretes enzymes for digestion via ducts that is a exocrine property so pancreas is a unique gland that has properties of both endocrine as well as exocrine glands